that's the boat we saw um, on the other side of Oshuego. Look at this epicness that Alex just made. Thank you, Bill, our neighbor at our marina, for uh, letting us taste some of these breakfast sausages. They're delicious, so we decided to pick some up for ourselves. What kind are they again? Um, Bob Evans. Bob Evans, anyway. They, uh, they're really good. What an epic meal. We're starting to be affected by tides and current so you really notice how much speed you gain or lose depending of the tide change so this morning when we started it was going towards high tide or around high tide and we were going like a knot and a half slower than usual and then as it started going towards the low tide we pretty much gained that knot and a half two knots of speed so that's pretty incredible Getting towards the salt water and south. <laughs> hey, eating my pretzel. Oh yeah, these pretzel things. They are like the best things since sliced bread. I'm pretty sure. They're peanut butter filled pretzels and they're yummy. And just a quick look at our wonderful anchorage over by this pier that they've made. Jetty, whatever you want to call it. We got the Catskills Mountains over there. Oh, and that's way overexposed. Anyway, you get the idea. We were incredibly relieved to finally have our sails up. This was a very special moment. Transiting the Erie Canal with our 38-year-old Yanmar engine was stressful. What if it broke down? It would have been the end of our adventure. But now we could also rely on our sails to get us around. We were really excited to finally hoist our Genoa. on a bit of a rescue mission. Man, we, <laughs> we were hoisting the sail. Probably not the greatest idea to do it while we're, we've got the wind on our back. But we're like, I will try it. It's not too bad. It should be fine. It's just a jib. But it kind of knocked uh, Corey's hat into the water. So we quickly finished hoisting the jib, furl it in, and turned around. And we found the freaking hat. So I fished it out with a boat hook 
And now we're going back down. Let's go explore Kingston. Nice. We've got our sailboat docked at the old Savannah restaurant, so we're probably gonna grab a meal later on. But let's go explore first. Where are we heading to now? Uh, we just finished going through a cemetery that was huge and crazy actually. I've never seen a cemetery or anything like that. And I'm thinking of trying to cross this golf course, but we might get into some trouble. We did some serious walking in Kingston. It was an unexpected stop along the Hudson River, which turned into a highlight. We even made it to the Dutch Historic District. There were so many brightly colored houses and buildings of all sizes and types. We even found a cute little cafe to rest our legs and grab a snack before exploring some more. We're here in Kingston. There's so many beautiful pieces of artwork. The one behind me is one of them. Uh, Andrew, the artist, has been working on it since June. So it's now October, so that's quite a few months of work, but it's turning out wonderful. It's so beautiful. Yeah, I mean, you, as you can see, it's kind of like a progression of, you know, multiple different wars that have happened throughout history. And uh, yeah, I just, I love the artwork here. It's such an amazing, amazingly artistic city and really neat to see all of the different things that they, they have showcased here. Some Tibetan sand, uh, what are they called? Mandalas. Mandalas that were being created in the Visual Arts Center. It was super cool, uh, the amount of patience and, and, and work that goes into something that's just gonna be destroyed after, it's just insane. It's Saturday, and you know what happens on Saturdays! We got boaters everywhere! And I mean, this is probably nothing compared to what we're gonna see on the ICW. Actually, on the ICW, I think we're gonna avoid traveling altogether, but we have tons of power boaters that some are very considerate and they slow down uh, at least a little bit, while others rip right past you as close as they can 
and wave at you like they don't realize what they're doing behind them. But uh, you know, it's just part of it. We gotta share the water with our powerboat friends. And um, yeah, so I'm now gonna be hand steering because it looks like there's about 10 boats coming for us and therefore lots of wakes. And it seems like Jittery Jackson, when he gets a wave on the beam, it actually just, he oversteers. So it ends up making the movement of the boat way worse than it should be. And uh, yeah, so we're just going through a bit of a wake right now. And there's, Hi, and there's another one coming. And now there's two boats going on either side of us, so this will be fun too. But whatever. Yum. First time passing 22 days and Carly's doing it. Well now we're officially a sailboat again. 22, 21 days later from leaving Sugarloaf Marina. But gosh, it feels good having the mast and sails and everything up. But now the wind's coming pretty much from where we're going, so we're still motoring. Eventually we'll get to do some sailing. But we're getting closer to New York. So beautiful here. We're just around Newburgh area, New York, Newburgh, New York, and all the mountains and beautiful colors of all the trees. Everything's changing. It seems all at the same time. So we got all the beautiful reds and oranges. It just looks like the mountains are on fire. It's so beautiful. Unfortunately, though, I tried to find um, something on Mountain Project, which is an app to find uh, rock climbing spots. And it doesn't seem like there's anything here, which I highly doubt because the mountains are just spectacular. There's just mountains everywhere. There's got to be some climbing somewhere. So maybe we'll come back and check it out at some point later in our future. Right up there, look at that. Thank you. 